Olympics are over, the excitement surrounding the Games will likely keep the Pettit National Ice Center busy for quite some time. During Olympic years like this, the center usually gets what they call an Olympic bump. Ricky Mitchell joining us live after talking to some local families inspired by the Winter Games. Ricky. That's right, Carol and Steve. Well, yeah, just this last week, a new session started for ice skating lessons, and staff here said that yesterday in particular, the ice was just packed with people learning how to skate. Thank you. Olympic fever has taken over the Pettit Center. Now it's been, like I said, about 15 years, so it's a little bit harder than I remember. Mark Cifuentes says his five-year-old daughter, Lila, took her first ice skating lesson tonight. We were watching the Olympics, and it got us thinking about um, ice skating, and I think mom talked to her and she said, yeah, let's try it, Dad. Why do you like it? Because it's sliding in circles a lot and it's fast. Other more experienced skaters came out just for fun tonight. Brian Kovalevsky says she played hockey for about 12 years growing up, and she loved watching the Team USA women's hockey team take gold. It's a sport that means a lot to me, so to see women doing so well, it's pretty awesome. And we even talked to a possible future Olympian, Abby Sonneman, who wants to be a speed skater and started lessons today. I learned to do a swizzle and a dip. And for all of those kids out there inspired by Team USA Hockey, coming up next weekend, the Pettit Center is hosting a Try Hockey for Free Day. A local uh, youth hockey organization will be here for kids ages 4 through 9 who want to get out on the ice and see what the sport's all about. We have more information at TMJ4.com. Reporting live outside the Pettit Center, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. We have a lot of budding stars. Thank you very much, Ricky.